Metal cutting operations are quite severe. As the cutting tool engages the workpiece material and removes it in the form of metal chips, there is a significant amount of heat and force generated. Excess heat can damage the cutting tool and the workpiece surface. Also, high temperatures and pressures can result in a built-up edge, where workpiece material welds to the cutting edge. This makes it hard to maintain accurate dimensions and a good surface finish. Most cutting operations use a metal working fluid to reduce friction between the tool and workpiece surface while also cooling the tool. This helps prolong tool life and improve the surface finish and quality of the workpiece. When it comes to a cutting fluid, a major benefit is lubricating the point of contact between the cutting tool and workpiece. Oil-based fluids are effective in reducing friction, but many metal working fluids contain additional additives to boost lubricity and protection from extreme pressure. By reducing friction, the fluid helps minimize tool wear and generate an improved surface finish. Metal working fluids also must cool the tool and workpiece. Water-based fluids offer excellent cooling, but are less effective at reducing friction. Again, various additives are often added to the fluid to optimize these properties. Beyond reducing friction and cooling the tool and workpiece, a metal working fluid plays other key roles. It helps flush away chips from the cutting zone. It also needs to avoid foaming so that the fluid fully engages the cutting zone for optimal cooling and lubricating. It has to be compatible with the workpiece material to avoid corrosion or staining. And it must guard against microbial or biological contamination as the fluid is stored in a sump and reused over time. There is no one ideal metalworking cutting fluid. The right fluid depends on the machine operations, the workpiece materials, and the cutting tool along with other numerous factors. Choosing the right fluid results in better tool life, workpiece quality, and overall productivity.